All right, time to talk about the intestines. This is anterior. This is posterior. And this is where we're going to start with the small intestines. So we have the duodenum or duodenum. Remember, pronunciations vary on this. Turning it over, we have the area where that enters, about here. That makes this region here the jejunum. And then we have this mass of small intestines that's in here. And it gets very hard to tell where the jejunum ends and where the ileum begins. So what we will do is say that the ileum must be here around the ileocecal sphincter that we have right here. So we have the three parts of the small intestines then. Then we move to the large intestines which we have in gray. Now here's that sphincter. Below that sphincter on the anterior side we have the cecum. Moving north of that we have the ascending colon, the transverse colon, and then we get, and I'm going to move over here, so this would be the transverse colon, and then we would have the descending colon to where we see the start of the sigmoid colon, and then you'd have the rectum and anum, anus off of that. So when we turn this to the posterior side, this is that beginning of the sigmoid colon. And on the opposite side, we have this worm-like structure here. This is the appendix. Now, right here we see the mesentery. The mesentery is a layer that has, it's not just that yellow thing, it's all these little lines you see here. Lots of blood vessels to it. And if we look at this other model here, this is a beautiful mesentery that we can see throughout here. So lots of blood vessels, lymphatic tissue going through here as well. And the mesentery has the blood supply going to both the small and large intestines. And we'll work on collecting it and delivering it towards the liver. Um, on the front side of this, we have this yellow layer that starts at the bottom of the stomach. And this is called the greater omentum. That may not be on the list, but it's a great thing to recognize. Now, pancreas. Pancreas is also on here. Here's the pancreas. This white line is the pancreatic duct carrying the pancreatic juices towards the duodenum here. Um, as we turn this around, we can also see that there's a common bile duct coming in right through there as well. We have the hepatic portal vein in here, and that's this purple that we see. So that covers a little bit of the pancreas, our small intestines, and the items that we, oh, the flexures. I have to do flexures yet. So all but two of our large intestine structures. When this is upright, we see that this transverse colon looks like it's hanging. So we have the hepatic flexure, which kind of holds it in place on the liver side, hepatic for liver. On the far side over here, we'll have the splenic flexure. And when you put this into the body, which I have up over here, note that you've got the spleen here and the proper placement of the liver is over here. So that gives you the idea of that hepatic and splenic flexure. All right, now that truly does finish our intestinal model. Thank you for listening.